Welcome to Affordable Backyard University, the weekly show that teaches you how to confidently buy backyard home improvements the right way. This week, we travel up north to Bearcat Country, where we're going to see how this combined with a small dose of this turned into this beautiful project. Next. Okay, so we want to begin this program like every other one and kind of start with the basics, the backbone of this project. Now, there's three things that you actually see looking at this picture. You see posts. You see that kicker board at the bottom of the fence, and you see the nailer rails. So let's talk about that. Okay, first off, let's talk about this. This is going to be a six foot tall western red cedar side by side picket configuration fence. Now, we all know that metal poles are better than wood poles, right? But these are special. They are heavy-duty galvanized 2 and 3 8 inch steel pipe, but they are 0.95 wall thickness, so they're almost twice as thick as the ones you'd normally buy at a big box store. Now, on top of that, because this is a 6-foot tall fence, those posts are going to be on approximate 8-foot centers. They're going to be 2-foot deep in the ground, and we're using that $9.50 a bag maximized concrete in the blue bag. These posts are not going anywhere. So the next thing you've got to do is attach wood to these heavy-duty galvanized steel posts. So how do you do that? Well, the answer is with a Simpson bracket. That bracket clamps around that pole, and you can't see it, but on the back side of that bracket is another set screw that tightens that clamp so it can't move. And then those are inch-and-a-half long coarse thread lag screws that attach the actual bracket to that 2 by 4 rough hewn cedar board. Now that cedar 2x4 is really important because a lot of fence companies will tell you they're selling you a cedar fence because the pickets are cedar, but those nailer rails are cheap pine boards from a big box store. And they will not last. Okay, so next up is that heavy duty 2x6 super pressure treated retaining wall board that we call the kicker board at the bottom. Now the purpose of this is to have your pickets not touch the ground. So on the front side, we raise those pickets up three to four inches like you see in the picture. And that makes sure that your weed eater doesn't hit the pickets. It also makes sure that the bottom of those pickets, that, that bottom edge stays dry and they don't get rot like you see so often. This is so important, yet many, many fence companies will not do this, thereby shortening your fence's lifespan while padding their profit. Let's jump to the pretty side quickly. Those are one by six pickets, side by side, and then across the top is a one by four cedar board we call top side trim. Now not only is it pretty, but it's got a job. Now you remember this guy, the heavy duty steel post, the Simpson bracket bolted to that 2x4 cedar nailer. Well that and that top side trim squish those pickets, keeping them straight, flat and true. All held in place by stainless steel ring shanked nails. They will not degrade. You will not have black coming out of the nail holes. Throw in a picture of a no-sag gate front and back, and there you have it. Thank you for joining us up in Pilot Point, Texas for another episode of Affordable Backyard University. Make sure and join us again next week where we'll break down another backyard home improvement and show you how to get the most for your money and not get taken. Adios!